All right, everybody, welcome. Today we're going to be playing Tropico, uh, Tropico 5, uh, and uh, Nat Jack's online with me here. And uh, he thought this part should be in the video, so I thought I'd start recording now as I'm making my character. Well, if we're going to impress some people, we have to look pretty good. Yeah, right. So I, I'm, I'm thinking Rigoberto, that's a great name. Uh, <laughs> fat Headez, you know, kind of like Fernandez, but Fat Headez, Rigoberto Fat Headez. Ooh, is there, uh... all constructions are 4% cheaper. That's good. I like the all thing. Are we going to be Asian? Do we want to be Asian in charge of a would tropical we... country? Would be, we be anything other than Asian? We could be cock Asian. That's an option. Um, Latino. That sounds like something that um, would be a good choice to run a... Uh, South American. Uh, uh, or, yeah. Is this a African? real country or is this fake? No, this is fake. It's the country of Tropico. I'm going to go with Latino. Oh. Way to go on a limb there. Which face? Face one, face two, face three. I like face three. Yeah, face three is okay. Okay. Watch the mirror, eh? It, it doesn't always like correspond to what you're doing. <laughs> He's doing some poses back there. Yeah. All right. Um, costume. There's the dictator one, which is kind of nice. Yeah, let's, well, you know, let's right. get the mango yellow. I like the idea of mango. I mean, that's tropical, right? <laughs> yeah. But not purple so much. What else do we have? Ooh, champagne's very tropical, you know? No. Coconut change... white. Can you change his pant color? I just did. Coconut white. Oh. Wait. Oh, there see. it goes. Yeah. Maybe I can make coconut white the top, and then mango the bottom. You like that hair? Yeah, that works, sure. Yeah, no, just uh, let's go through the, oh, yeah, the hippie. No. I like that stash, though. Macho, that's not bad. That's, like, quite the mustache with the beard. and. Yeah, that's let's bad. do that one. Or, or this I one. I like that one. This is supposedly the nerd. All right, let's do that one. Sure. Uh, you want to you want to be a Latino with blonde hair, or go uh, more with the traditional dark tones of a Latino? Uh, no, blonde hair. Oh, well, look, you can have, have to stand out. Hair. You can have red hair and purpley hair and green hair. Yeah, let's do that. Green, purple, or green? Yeah, sure. All right, green hair. We uh, need to stand out. Would you like a hat? Dictator no. hat. No hat. No hat. All right, let's see the hats here. Then you won't see the hair. That's true. Oh, but look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That. Wow. If if that doesn't like, you know, the top hat. You like the top hat? You don't like this steampunk thing? Because uh, if any good thing tells other world leaders that you're absolutely yeah. crazy, it would be that. <laughs> See that the pirate hat actually. There's a pirate hat. Oh yeah. Yeah, didn't right. you just go past one there? That one. Yeah. The Napoleon hat thing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's more Napoleon than pirate. I don't know why I said pirate. Oh, that's okay. It's yeah, that is steampunk. Steampunk's fine. Sure. Glasses. They all look the same to me. Yeah, Except that's a Napoleon one. hat. That's not pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Pipe? Yes. Pipe? Yes. Or cigar? Ooh, or I say or pipe. pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> pacifier. You want the pacifier? Or clown nose. <laughs> oh, we can't do both? No. Diving oh, I want a clown mask. Nose with a pacifier. Okay, so, so which one do you want? Clown nose or pacifier? Uh, I th I think the the clown nose makes a bigger statement if our leaders walk into a room. <laughs> okay, you're right. I think you're right. People know the party has started, and we we never really did choose the clothing for him. Like that's the dictator one, right? We just chose the colors. So I just kind of like the dictator yeah, one. Yeah, there's the astronaut, right? The astronaut pirate clown. That's that's a pretty good look. <laughs> Uncle Pedro. <laughs> there's the whole Napoleonic thing. Steampunk. Okay. Oh, clown. There you oh no, that's a geek. Sorry, that's geek. 
Stop me if uh, you see one that you. Uh... Yeah, I'm just trying to think here. No, well, that's all. That's all of them. Want to keep the dictator oh, then? Yeah, dictator works. All right. Okay, everybody, we're about to start Tropico Five uh, with uh, Nat Jack watching me play. Um, so let's see what kind of. I love some of these. Uh, this guy kidnapped a dentist in Royal Bain. Surgery on him to make the resemblance even worse. So leaving the poor fellow no choice. Oh, and I hate that part because that always happens. <laughs> Never give you enough time. So let's pause this so we don't lose our. I, I start off with the least amount of money and least amount of people on the island. Um, this is our island, and what we know of it is the non clouded area. So we need to go and discover more parts of the island to expand it a little bit. Um, all right. And so these little things uh, pop up every once in a while. They're like kind of choices or missions so this one okay so greetings this one. old chap have i got a deal for you today as crown representative i can offer you your very own trading license okay so i'm i always buy the uh platinum package is it the platinum yeah which is yeah. Would you not? Such a great deal. Of course, four four grand. You know that's like eighty percent of my starting money right there, and it's <laughs> gone. But yeah, definitely the uh, platinum package. Thank you very much. We'll just I, overtax our people and make up for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, the way this works, by the way, is the reason this British guy is talking to you is because you're a colony of the British. Mm. Of course. Um, yes, of course. So let's see. His Majesty still, needs money to build a new right. underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of yeah, cash. British. Carry out His Majesty's wishes, and you'll be rewarded with an extension to your mandate as well as other benefits. So you see, in the bottom left corner, I have four years and six months left in my mandate. If I build hmm. one plantation for making cocoa or growing cocoa my mandate will be extended by six months. So the key is not to run out of mandate time as the governor of this uh, colony, um, while at the same time trying to increase your revolutionary support so that it's high enough that you can declare independence. So basically, the, the more you make your people happy and the better, you know, the more stuff you build, the yeah. longer tenure you'll have. Well, a different. Well, no. So the the longer tenure you have is all based on uh, the royal uh, royalists, right? So if you keep doing things they want, like build one cocoa plantation, like this Lord Oaksworth is wanting me to do, it'll increase my time down here as a governor. Right. All right. Right, because you're um, making the the motherland happy. Right. On the other hand, if I do things for the people and import revolutionaries, this will go up. And uh, what I need is the amount of time um, to still be there at the same time while getting this over 50% so I can exit the colonial era. All Which right. We want to do as fast as possible because it sucked. Yeah. So, uh, first thing I'm doing here is just. You're building a road. You got to have a road to your dock, otherwise, you know. Basically, the deal is right here. You've got a somewhere here. Is that it? Pig farm. Yeah, you got your pig ranch there. And what will happen is that these guys here, the Teamsters, will come over here, take up the pick up the pork, and uh, sometimes your people will eat it, and other times they will take it into the dock for export, where a ship comes in and you make money. Right, okay. So at the beginning of the game, what I like to do is uh, basically try to find um, or, or, or start with uh, something that will make money and food at the same time. That's a good idea. All right, so uh, let me think here. I usually like an opulent area for my palace here. And uh, there's the front of my palace. Um, Put it on the hill. No, I can't change the location of it. But what oh. I want to do is I want to surround it with roads. One, two, three, four. Look at this right? zoom in. One, two, three, four, and then one more. Is that our guy standing outside there? Yeah. Ah. Well, Can you move well, him around? 
And you, uh, you know, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I think you could tell him where to go. You can't move him around as in, you know, hey, specifically. Turn My to Tropico. I guess you is can. there, so if once you start exploring, is there like other resources on the map you find? Or is it just yeah. more land? Okay, no, no, yeah. you find, you'll, you'll see in a second. What I'm trying to do is just cordon off a section here for um, my palace compound. <laughs> okay. So I'm just setting the road system first. Um, let me see. I like your just random road right now in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, not quite. I'm counting it out. <laughs> see, most of those roads are going to be gone. Like, so every time you're laying down a road, it's costing you money, right? Ah, uh, yeah, but it's not that much for roads. Um, we just have a bunch of people walk up and down the same spot for hours on end, and there you go. <laughs> yeah. Get to work, people. <laughs> Walk back and forth for these same three miles all day. See what I'm what I'm doing is these outside roads are everything inside is going to be the palace compound. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Um, is there walls and stuff we can build eventually? Four and one, so it's going to be here. Because I'm assuming we're going to get attacked at some point. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. There, yeah, there's no walls, um, but is that right? For continuation, yeah. All right, so I can pretty much get rid of these roads right away, and this looks like a good place to uh, probably end the episode here for the day. So stay tuned for things like briberies, assassinations, uh, colonial armies, rebels, and dungeons. So don't forget to uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, like. And we'll see you in the next episode.